Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Tanmay Best and today we are here to derive the famous laws equations of motion which were first derived by Sir Isaac Newton in 17th century and we know these equations have wide applications in solving numerical problems uh, in kinematics. So first of all, let us have a look at those equations. So these are our three equations of motion. In these equations, V is your final velocity u is initial velocity, a is your acceleration, t is your time and s is total distance travelled. So our first equation of motion is v is equal to u plus at. Second equation is s is equal to ut plus half at square and the third one is v square is equal to u square plus 2as. Now we are going to derive these equations one by one. So first of all let us derive the first equation which is v is equal to u plus at. Now, to derive this equation, we will first of all look at the basic definition of acceleration. We define the acceleration by the derivative of velocity. So, we write a is equal to dv by dt. In the other form, we can write it as dv is equal to a dt, means this dt goes there. Now, integrating this equation on both sides, we get integral of dv is equal to integral a dot dt. Now integral of dv is v and since a is a constant in all these equations a is taken to be a constant. So acceleration comes out of the integral and dt integral gives you t and plus c is the constant of integration. Now we see at t is equal to 0 v is equal to u because <coughs> it is initial velocity and so putting t is equal to 0 in this equation we get u is equal to a0 plus c or u is equal to c means at t is equal to 0, u is equal to c. So putting this u in place of c in the equation, we get v is equal to u plus at. So in this way, our first equation is derived. Now, <coughs> our task is to derive the second equation, which is s is equal to ut plus half at square. To derive the second equation, we write the uh, basic function of velocity, which is v is equal to dx by dt where x is the position of a particle. Now, this can be written as dx is equal to v dot dt in the same way as we have written dv is equal to a dot dt. Now, we substitute the value of v from the first equation that is u plus at dot dt. Now, integrating both sides, we get integral dot dx is equal to integral u plus at dot dt. Integral of dx gives you x and this integral gives you u plus dt plus uh, at dot dt. Now u is a constant comes out of the integral and in this case a is a constant and comes out of the integral. This gives you ut and this gives you t square by 2 plus constant is there. And similarly here c is x0 as it was u in the first equation. Now putting x, c is equal to x0 in this equation we get x is equal to ut plus half t square plus x0. Taking this x0 to the left hand side, we get x minus x0 is equal to ut plus half at square. Now this x minus x0 is the change in position of the particle. Change in position refers to the displ displacement. So displacement is equal to ut plus half at square and th in this way the second equation is also derived. Now to derive the third equation, we will simply substitute the first equation in the third one. So from the first equation, we have t is equal to b minus u upon a. And from the second one, we have s is equal to ut plus half at square. Now substituting the value of t from the first equation in the second, we get s is equal to u v minus u by a plus half a v minus u by a is whole square. Now simplifying this, we get s is equal to 2u v minus u plus v minus u whole square over 2a. On further, on further simplification, we get 2a s is equal to v square minus u square or v square is equal to u square plus 2s and in this way third equation is also derived so in this way we have derived all the three equations of motion and uh, now <coughs> thank you